The Tyranny of the Meritocracy, Democratizing Higher Education in America, by Lonnie Guineer is a thought-provoking exploration of the challenges and inequalities within the American higher education system. Guineer, a Harvard Law School professor and civil rights advocate, critiques the prevailing notion of meritocracy and proposes a more inclusive, equitable approach to higher education. This literary analysis will delve into the central themes, arguments, and rhetorical strategies employed by the author in her quest to reform higher education. Guineer's central argument revolves around the idea that the meritocracy that underpins the American higher education system is inherently flawed. She asserts that the focus on standardized tests and narrowly defined academic criteria disproportionately favors the privileged, effectively excluding individuals from marginalized backgrounds. By critiquing the emphasis on standardized testing, Guineer calls attention to the inherent bias in these assessments, which favor students with the means to afford test preparation courses and tutoring. This makes it difficult for students from disadvantaged backgrounds to compete on an equal footing. Furthermore, Guineer explores the concept of testocracy, where she suggests that standardized tests act as gatekeepers to educational opportunities and are used to sort and select individuals for admission. This perpetuates a system in which certain groups of students have a clear advantage, further entrenching inequality. The author skillfully uses anecdotal evidence, research studies, and historical examples to substantiate her claims, making her argument compelling and well-supported. To convey the urgency of her message, Guineer employs various rhetorical strategies. One of her primary tools is the use of pathos. She humanizes the issue by sharing personal stories of individuals who have been disadvantaged by the current system. These anecdotes, such as the story of a high-achieving student from a low-income neighborhood, resonate with the reader on an emotional level highlighting the real-life consequences of the status quo. Through these narratives, Guineer makes her argument more relatable and compelling. In addition to personal stories, Guineer uses logos to bolster her argument. She provides a wealth of data and statistics to support her claims, showcasing the inherent biases in standardized tests and the disparities in access to educational resources. By presenting this evidence, Guineer appeals to the reader's sense of reason and logic, reinforcing her call for a more equitable system. Guineer also incorporates ethos into her argument by drawing on her own expertise and experience. As a renowned legal scholar and civil rights advocate, she possesses a level of authority and credibility on the subject. Her academic background and years of research lend weight to her assertions. Moreover, she references numerous academic studies and experts in the field, further enhancing her credibility. Another rhetorical strategy employed by Guineer is the use of analogy. She compares the American higher education system to a competitive race, highlighting the winner-takes-all nature of the current meritocratic model. This analogy effectively conveys the zero-sum nature of the competition for admission and the severe consequences for those who do not make the cut. By framing the issue in this way, Guineer emphasizes the need for a more inclusive and collaborative approach to higher education. Guineer's proposed solutions include a shift toward a more holistic admissions process, considering factors beyond test scores and GPA. She advocates for a system that takes into account an applicant's character, values, and potential contributions to the community. She also supports the idea of affirmative action to increase diversity and equity on campuses. These recommendations align with her overarching goal of democratizing higher education, making it more accessible to a wider range of students. In conclusion, the Tyranny of the Meritocracy, by Lonnie Guineer is a persuasive critique of the American higher education system's over-reliance on standardized tests and a call for greater inclusivity and equity.
Guineer effectively employs rhetorical strategies, including pathos, logos, ethos, and analogy, to make her case. Her argument is grounded in evidence, historical context, and personal stories, making it both emotionally resonant and intellectually compelling. By challenging the prevailing meritocracy, Guineer invites readers to reconsider the values and principles that underpin higher education and encourages them to advocate for a more just and equitable system.